Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. If you follow me on social media, then you'll know that I am already 28 years old. Tita na po ako. <laughs> but it's okay because I actually enjoy being a tita. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, especially the time when I was blogging more often, then you would know that I love doing things like sharing my learnings, my experiences, and talking about them with you guys. You know, I really feel like I'm trying to build a community here and we're all helping each other grow. And with that being said, today I want to share with you guys the 28 things that I've learned now that I'm 28. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing that I learned is to have control over your emotions. I remember the times when I was still young. Oh, ang sad naman ng statement na yun, though, when I was still young. But I remember the times when I would get so worked up about something and I would really like I really wanted to show that I was pissed I really wanted to show that I was sad when I used to fight with my then Joa parang may mga walk out walk out pa na stuff like that but now that I'm 28 I feel like it's kind of silly and it's best to always have control over your emotions like lagi ko iniisip would the Queen of England or would the Duchess of Cambridge ever do that? Like, mga galit ba siya sa restaurant if matagal yung food? Hindi ba siya mahiya? Diba? So, I think it's also a very nice way to remain ladylike and to have good manners and proper etiquette. Because when you get upset, the one who loses the most is you. Second, if you're upset for a very small reason, you're probably just on PMS. Number three, when you're on PMS, you should definitely eat it out. For black coffee solves a lot of your problems. A lot. Five, dairy is bad for you. Well, at least for me. Dairy is bad for me. Number six, it's okay to say no. But number seven, sometimes it's better to say yes. Because when you say yes, you're opening yourself up to opportunities that you never would have known existed. So number eight, once in a while, it's best to get out of your comfort zone and try something new. Before you give up, try harder because number 10 most often than not the only one standing in your way is you number 11 read books a lot of books and if you're not into books try audible so you can listen to your books instead number 12 challenge yourself if you think you don't like reading books give yourself a chance and try it out you might discover something that you never even knew about yourself 13 you are the sum total of the five people that you spend most of your time with so choose them wisely spend time with people older than 60 and younger than six you are capable of more than you think don't limit yourself. Along the years, you will lose the hundred something acquaintances or party friends that you used to hang out with. You'll be stuck with a few selected friends and these are your real friends, so cherish them well. Number 18, make time for family. 19, sometimes you don't wanna do things that your parents ask you to do, but you should do them anyway because it's gonna make them happy. Number 20, age is just a number. I actually enjoy my titanas. 21, don't settle, give love a chance. And when you love, love with all your heart and expect nothing in return. Also, be open. Know that you don't know everything and that your opinions and your values are not always right. 24, accept constructive criticism, allow it to make you a better person and don't take it personally. Number 25, make a fool of yourself and just laugh about it. Number 26, don't be embarrassed about the fashion faux pas and mistakes of yesterday because they're the ones that made you who you are today. Number 27, meet people outside your social circle and open your mind. And number 28, be thankful. Be thankful for everything and you will find happiness and contentment in your life. Be thankful for your family, your friends, your health. Be thankful for the gift of eyesight, for being able to breathe properly, for having a home, for having internet connection. Just be grateful for every little thing. And that is the number one thing that I have learned to give me happiness and peace in my life. So that's it guys, just a simple video for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this and if you did, please don't forget to join the fam, leave a comment down below, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!